the Fembot Terra continues on The Six Million Dollar Man with guest star, the bionic woman. Who is the real Oscar? Who is the real Steve? A fight to the death on The Six Million Dollar Man. Um, Airwolf will not be presented this evening. Well, it's nine o'clock. Connected via the internet, a group of former podcasters are inexplicably transported into the game they were about to play. Now. Trapped inside the world of Warcraft and hunted by role players, they do the only thing they can make a show. Welcome back to the bar. Pull up a stool. Grab a pint. This is Hawkeye. <laughs> this is Aloysius. You know, you're standing, Hawkeye. <laughs> you're not even sitting. And this is Infernal Bill, <laughs> who's not standing. <laughs> hey, move. Malika. Malika Eisenstrider. You, this assistant <laughs> innkeeper is standing right in front of us. Like, move. You're in our shot. Malika, let's go. Let's go, Some Malika. People. Malika. Malika I got Eisenstrider. The Eisenstriders were always the trash of Azeroth. I'm saying it now. This inn is mad to crap. Can I, can I have a beer? Can I have a pint? Don't ignore my friend here. Can you help me out? Okay, see, she's ignoring you because the Eisenstriders <sighs> are trash. They're Azerothian trash. I, I suspect there's a story there that I just don't know. What's what's the, Who's the Eisenstriders? She's oh, standing you know, in front of you, dude. No, I know that, but why you? Why the vitriol? <laughs> we're just because well, that's what they do. They just stand where they they do what they, they want. Do what they they want don't to care. Do. They just do what they want. They do, do what they want to do. Say what they want to say. Go where they want to go. Hey, <laughs> be who they want to be. Do what they want to do. Say what they want to say. Stand where they want to stand. Are we drinking? You kind of caught us by surprise on that, Bryce. Yeah, that was quick. I'm trying to just, as you can see from my character, I'm trying not even to look at Eisenstrider. <laughs> it just makes me so upset that, you know, she's so discourteous and not paying attention. I'm trying to just get in the zone and, you know, thinking about the Eisenstriders, I mean, just makes me upset and angry, but it also makes me thirsty. It makes me Bill, get a certain I kind of a feeling, certain kind of a... Certain kind of a coming on, if you know what I'm saying. You boys know what I'm saying? No, not at all, really. But I do. Yeah, do you? Oh, okay. What are are we we drinking? We are drinking Pilsner Urkel, a Bohemian Pilsner. It's not Pilsner Urkel, like that guy from uh, that TV show. Ugh. Am I not saying that right, Mike? This is one of your favorite pills. I think it's Pilsner Urkel. That's what I said. Pilsner I Urkel. I like it. Well, I I'm in you the said United Urkel. States. No, you okay. say Urkel? Bill said Urkel. I said Urkel. I you What's say that? sabotage. I say sabotage. <laughs> Speaking of Star Trek, yeah. what do we know about this beer? This is one of Mike's favorite Pilsners. And go, Mike. It's one of the very first Pilsners that were ever created. The, in fact, even says really? the original Pilsner on the label. I'm not so yeah. sure about that. That seems... Seems unlikely. Wait a minute, I, they didn't make Pilsners before 1842? That seems likely. Maybe. Hmm. So anyways, it's a Pilsner. It's very dark for a Pilsner, though. Like, if you compare this to something like, uh, um... Like Vorsteiner. Vorsteiner is very, like, golden and clear in comparison to this. You can compare it to something like Budweiser. Budweiser is super clean. 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 Pilsner clean. It's very clean. clean. Clean has to, you have to say clean a certain way. It's not clean. Clean. Or clean is clean. 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 Guilt clean. Wow. This. Holy smokes. This, I think this wasn't brewed. Maybe I've got one of the original bottles because I kid you not. I just cracked the, 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 the top off of this thing and somebody let out the skunk in this room. Uh -oh. I mean, it is. This is. <laughs> holy smokes. It's bad? Well. I mean, I do live in California, so it's difficult to tell you whether it's, you know, what the smell is, but it is 
Oh, you got to drink it then. Smell. You got to drink it. Yeah, you got to drink it now. Yeah. Ooh. I'm curious. But Bill, Ooh. Bill, you taste it first. Here, everybody. I got to let this head settle down. No, no, no. F right. that. Cheers. Cheer. All right. <laughs> Cheers. I got to Thanks. Salute. Added entertainment more. value. Here we go. <laughs> it's it's it should ugh. it should taste like um rubber Budweiser. Burnt rubber no it should yeah. taste like pretty much like Budweiser and if it doesn't it's, yeah it's kind of it, it's oh yeah I think Bill's got a bad bottle oh it, it should taste like, it, it should taste like you know a, a better version of something like Budweiser beer or yeah. like, <laughs> oh drink no, it. like it sticks it's like sticking to my tongue like an oil like it's it's got a it won't go away. Yeah. It's can like you, burnt uh, rubber. Can you, it's all over my tongue. Would you mind trying it again, Bill? We'd like to have a little bit more. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. I'll try it Okay, more. good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can you drink it a little bit more? Like, just drink the whole thing. You're not really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what Tarragast has done to you <laughs> and your liver. <laughs> Oh. He's gonna end up in the ER tonight. They're gonna be like, "Why are we pumping your stomach, sir?" <laughs> that that would be actually the, the the perfect ending to this night so far. <laughs> if you if you end up in the ER, the virtual ER, by the way, the virtual ER, because we're trapped here. But if you end up in the virtual ER, make sure that you use your virtual iPhone to capture all of it, and so we can put it on the show. <laughs> I just drank poison. <laughs> I mean, it may, I may as well just. It, oh gosh. Okay. Mike and I just took ours down too, but I don't think ours is as bad as yours. Solidarity for the win. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you so, rate that, uh, Bill? Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> 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 Um You know, uh, relative to other poisons like strychnine, I'd say this actually ranks well. It's got a nice uh, aftertaste. It doesn't, you know, kill you quite as quickly. Uh, but for a beer, I'm gonna have to put this a one. Sorry, boys. Uh, I'm going to go for a, a Pilsner, representative of its variety. It's uh, If Budweiser is like a two, then Pilsner Urkel is um, a six. A six. I think I'm going to rank this probably... I'll put it below average, actually. I'll do a four. That's why I, was, I, I don't think it's ever been a favorite of mine, but it's it was a solid Pilsner. Like, if we say five is... Five is a fine... Fine. It's fine. You know? What's like, what, what's Vorsteiner? Regular Vorsteiner. Regular Vorsteiner, I'd put up around an eight. Yeah. I'd probably go higher for Vorsteiner. I like it quite a bit. What didn't you like about this, you guys? I mean, mine was obviously a, a bad a bad brew, but what is? why is this not as good as Vorsteiner? Vorsteiner is like a, is like a honey. It's got a honey taste to it. The Pilsner's got a lot of nuance. That's what I think. <laughs> I was gonna say the War Center actually finishes kind of creamy almost. Like it's it's got a yeah, it's got a little more smooth complexity to it, which I don't even know if it makes any sense, but that's kind of what comes to mind. This the Pilsner Cal is fine. It's like it's a beer and it's good. It's not bad. Like unless you have a bad bottle, <laughs> but like in general, it's like it's fine. I mean, what makes? Do you guys know like the what makes a bottle go bad? Is it just uh, air, air and light? So if you, light had, in the light. Yeah, if you had a cracked bottle, like if you had to, if the cap wasn't on tight, that could be one reason. The other one would be light got into the bottle for such a long period of time, it skunked the beer. Improperly yep. stored, that sort of thing. Or stored, yeah, temperature could do it too. It could have been stored in a warm place with a lot of light for, you know, eight or nine, ten or twenty years, and now you just got the bottle. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. It's not making me feel better. Yeah. Well, make sure, like I said, you use your virtual iPhone to record the encounter with the stomach pumping machine. I'd like to see that. <laughs> well, I, I gotta take, I gotta try this one more time, but a different bottle. I'm gonna have to get a, to, to actually get what it tastes like because I very much want to know what uh, what a uh, what a Hawkeye Four tastes like. Now it is <laughs> it is officially Hawkeye's favorite beer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where that came from. He is a really hard grader. Really, really hard. All right, you All right, guys. Good. So, um, so we've been we've been questing in West Vault. Mo come on, Malika. Why why you got to get all up in my way, girl? I mean, so, come on. But now you're what you like got? what you, you got? are invading her what personal you got, space. Yeah. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, Malika. My friends, get out of my way. 
Okay, so um, we've been Seems questing in uh, in Westfall, and we we're we're getting up to the point where we're gonna go into the Dead Mines dungeon, and Whoa. and <laughs> Hawkeye's Hawkeye's got some pretty good skills now. He's got a little bit better gear. He's got. Wait a minute. He's got, we're like, going some, to Dead Mines. Yeah, I think this uh, is I think like, next episode we're going to Dead Mines. So I have right. never been to Dead Mines. I know. I've only played Horde. And I've never been to Dead Mines. I know. I, is, Hawkeye's never been there, and it's probably been. I'm, a dozen years since I've been there. I'm super excited. Yeah. So, what well, do we... way, I know nothing can kill us at this point. Like, uh, we are just oh, no. so, so elite. overpowered. And because we want to make <laughs> yeah. sure that nothing can kill us, I think there's a few quests that we need to wrap up in Westfall. And I think we should right. take Hawkeye out to Dagger Hills and look for the Defias messenger on the road if we can find him. But more importantly, I think we should go after those really tough guys up in Dagger Hills and we should treat yep. it like a raid instance we should try to like mark the guys like a raid we should make sure that like hawkeye's doing dps you're doing tanking and i'm doing healing and see if we can survive those scenarios as a so test. what you're saying is this is like pre-dungeon practice That's what this I'm is thinking. like the this is we're practicing for the big league uh -huh. for when we go to dead mines because we do not want to embarrass ourselves out there at dead mines no. there's a lot of people out there a lot of people are going to be watching us they're going to be criticized we may even have to bring a couple of extra people with us and we don't want to be the slouches right yeah like we're gonna have to recruit two more people to come with us well i think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to si7 or sl7 in stormwind to the the rogues and the spies over there and see if we can get some of those guys because this is this this dude this defias dude van cleef is in dead mines and we got to kill that guy so who better to take out the spy than one of the spies right so we'll see what we can good find idea there. Good but idea. i think we I like need to thinking. we need to put our skills to the test now that we have uh you know what are, what are we all now hawkeye you're 14 bill you're 18 holy cow yep wow and i am 16 i think what am i it's the evens I even we're even I'm numbers 16 yeah all right then, fellas. What do you say? You want to take a stab at it? Here, I think we need to dance with um, what's her face? Malika Eisenstrider. Malika. Come on, Malika. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come on. You can't resist the moves, Malika. Come on, Hawkeye. Jump in. She you was. Can, she was. She was like this in high school too. She just, was. She just like stands. Is this a character? This is somebody's character, She's right? Just, she won't even crack no, no, a no. smile. This is no a, waving. This is the assistant innkeeper. It's all the well, only job right, she could ever get. She, she just she checked out. I the right way. click on her. Nothing. I don't. I, nothing happened. Yeah, because she's got nothing to offer. The Ivan Striders are just nothing. They're nothing in this world. She. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Ivan Striders! <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Once again, into the abyss. So, so <clears throat> while we're running here, Hawkeye, I'm curious. What do you think so far about the world of Warcraft? I think it's uh, it's brought out some of the um, some of the reasons why I quit gaming before. It is fairly <laughs> addictive. I'll give it that. I mean, to get to 14, I've been having to play a bit, and it's like you kind of want to keep playing just to finish up quests and keep doing like to keep kind of hooking you back in. And there's never really a great time to just stop playing. So uh, it's very. Um, well done from that point of view. Like that's, I gotta think in the design. That's kind of what they, what they aimed for. You know, I, um, I always, I, I was told that it, it, even back in the day when we started looking into this, that they used um, the same kind of psychological uh, manipulation or tactics or whatever used in like gambling, right? So it's oh, like you yeah. get, you get a little reward. It gives you just a little bit of something from completing a quest or something, and it makes you want to go and get even more. Right, so it's like slot machine, slot machine, slot machine. Oh, I won something. Oh, I'm going to keep going. Slot machine, slot machine. Right. It's the same kind of thing. Plus, which if you've got any kind of tendency toward organization or OCD or completionism, this game will eat you alive. Eat you alive. Yep. Triggered. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think that the world is immersive or is it just like it's a game? Because when I nah, played it, I think, I think it's a game. Okay. I, I well, thought like, the look, world was awesome. Don't you notice? I mean, so for instance, when we went from... Well, what were we just in Elwyn Forest, yep. and now we went to Westfall. Yep. The music changes. The uh, the 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 ground change. The sky, 
I mean, look at that, those clouds, right? With sort of a bit of pink in it, and that changes based on the time of day, and I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but for- you know what upends it all is the the rote stuff you gotta do to, like, work the game. So it, it kind of works against, like, all those things you're talking about, for sure. Like, it, it's well done from a graphics perspective and an environment perspective, mm-hmm. but then you just need to, like, That's grind right. and grind and grind. It kind of takes away the the feeling of, oh, this is really, you know, something special. Yeah, welcome to MMOs. Right. Yeah. Yeah, those <laughs> no, are, that's right, a hallmark though. of MMOs in general. Yeah. Yeah. Like now, this if you, running, if for you played, uh, <laughs> If you played Retail WoW, uh, while the grinding is still there, Retail WoW is, um, one of the things they've done really well is they've made the questing a lot more interesting now. A lot more story driven, mm. a lot more situational based. There's still, sort of, you know, you recognize the mechanics after a while, but there's, um, there's some pretty cool event kind of things, and there's a lot more voice acting and things like that within the within the quests. Yeah, I mean, it seems like in classic, it reminds me. I, I haven't played a lot of more modern retail. Wow, I mean, I certainly played a number of the expansions, but this reminds me how basic the questing is. And Hawkeye, you're you're absolutely right. The grinding of it takes away from the immersiveness, the experience. It's still great when you go to a new zone and you're like, "Wow, this is gonna See, be fun." See, I'm not so sure and if then I you agree realize with you that. gotta get like you know ten thousand teeth from wolves or something. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure that I really agree with that. The only reason I say that is, is well, because when be you're wrong. well, no, you're wrong. When you're out, when you're out <laughs> doing doing the grinding, the world itself is is part of the story. It's part of the scenario. Right, so it should be. So it it's should not be. like that. I'm, I'm. The first time I went through it, the world was pretty spectacular to me. Like it felt immersive and, in a strange way, not realistically, somewhat real. Right? It doesn't feel that way now after I've done it. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm the exact opposite. I think it actually feels more immersive now because I'm not as uptight about the questing. Like, I know what the questing is going to be. I know it's going to be kind of a drag. I know, so I'm not getting so tied up in the questing that I'm failing to appreciate the world and get immersed by it. Hmm. Told you you were wrong. Interesting. Let's go to, um, let's go over and see if we can find uh, the messenger. The messenger? Here, follow me. So let's go into Moonroof and see if we can just find the messenger Did you just say we're going to Moonroof? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> moon moon breaker. moon breaker. We're, we're going to Moonraker. I think moon that was a James Bond movie. Yeah. I mean, like, just look into the sun. Though you're never not supposed to. Do. That looks amazing. Ah, the lighting effects. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> With like the clouds and everything, that's awesome. I can almost taste the burnt rubber of a bad beer yeah, really? by looking into that's it. That's bizarre. How did that happen? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, Thanks. true true story. Uh, Bill and I were playing the other night and. Uh, Basically, like, we ran up on some people. Bill just sat there and stared at them as they got killed. Uh, and the guy messaged Bill, you. And then I started resing him, and the guy messaged me, God bless you. So, <laughs> he hated so, me. So I would just like to point out that Eloisius fights for right in this game. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'm Infernal Bill, whether I'm a warlock or a warrior. All right, we'll so we're going to kill these 15 and 15 and get through yep. all that crap? Yeah, we'll do that. Correct. Oh, the uh, element. Oh, wait, wait, the he, element. He got a big... He, hold on. He got a level eight. We, got, we better kill this guy. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, I'm caught in a gust of wind. All right, now I'm all right. Yeah, see... We picked up some ya. skills, yo. I'm telling you, telling you, boys. I think it's starting. Nice. It's looking up here. I bet you it's, we're not uh, going to encounter troubles in this cave either. Yep, we're gonna go through like a hot knife through butter. Oh dear. Holy smokes! There we go. Anybody want a curved dagger of power? I think you're the only <laughs> one who can equip it. Oh my! Can I use it? Hold on, let me look. I think daggers are what you use. Yeah, you're right. That's an 8 to 15 damage, and I've currently got a sharp kitchen knife, which is 5 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Let's use that guy. Click Bill. See right below his portrait? It says Defias Looter. Click that, and now you have her as a target. We're not going to have any problems. Who's going to grab some more, Mike? All right. Don't let me die. I won't. Good. It, mo- it moves really fast. 
Yes, it does. Really like fast. trying to keep track of which one I should be focused on was tricky. Like, so I focused on, I basically focused on one and then like three more came and I was like trying to move between them. But then I was like coming back to like try to find what Bill was attacking. And yeah, it's it hard. Just, it's not, there's a lot it's, of, it's not you. That actually is very hard. Yeah. And that's sort of like the part of the game that's hard and kind of fun. So there's really, it yeah, takes, there's not a good dancer. It just takes a uh, skill. Out. Okay, so now we got, we got four guys. All right, okay. Ah, fuck. And then, so kill that guy if you can. Tab through and dot them. Or one ad. Now two. Two. Ads. Come here, you. Ah. So when go. you fear him... He's going to run off in a random direction. Oh, was that, was that a fear? I didn't even notice. Yeah. That was awesome. Somebody feared him. Good job, I don't Mike. Know if <laughs> You've got to kill this guy on me or I'm not going to... There you go. You got his egg right now. You got it. Oh, three of three them. Of That's good. That works. Bill. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know he, I didn't know he peeled off. I'm getting blown the f*** up. Wait, why am I getting it? Holy crap, I'm dead. I am Who's killing? dead, dead, dead. <laughs> don't, don't oh, I'm die. dead. Ah. I'm dead. Ah. Bill, We're going stop. Back to- stop. <laughs> you are part of the problem. Bill, motherfucker, <laughs> slow the fuck down. Mike doesn't know as much as you do. He needs time to fucking learn. Sure. God damn it. Right. <laughs> Wait, it. what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Going it's gonna hit me fast. in the face. Just don't run. It. Just take a pause. We got. It. Pa- take this right. guy in front of you. Try to take him off one at a time. That's the back side of the dead mines. It is. Yes, it is. It's the back side of the dead mines. Yep. You can't get in there that way. You, you come can't out go in the back side. You come out. This is where you come out. The back side only comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of that'll be on the show. This week in another exciting episode of Taverncast Adventures. Taverncast Grinders. No, I heard the. No, the no, no, I don't know. Oh, that's so uh, cute. We're like, we are Santa's elves. <laughs> we do look like Christmas elves. We really do. Santa will be pleased. Do I need wool cloth or anything? Okay, so then break. Open up my thing. Hey. Right click on. All right. <laughs> what? What? Are you, <laughs> you guys are weird. All right, so I feel like we've we've been grinding, we've been practicing, well, we got our team dynamics as down as they're gonna get. Are we ready that for the deadline? That was deadlines? an exciting, exciting <laughs> time <laughs> in the world of Warcraft. Hey, that's how it goes. That, that is the world of Warcraft uh, sometimes. Ugh. Yeah. But, you know, I got to say there was a lot of learning going done. I, I think it was yeah. very good for us as a group to come together to figure out the mechanics, right, of making this work. Because even though a couple of us are old hands, this is sort of new classes for us. And uh, I think it'll it'll be good. It'll be good for the dead mines because the dead yes. mines are up next. We are going to destroy them. Who's with me? I'm with, I'm with you, I guess. I got dynamite. Can I use the dynamite in the dead mines? All right. Well, first raid dungeon. Here we go. Let's do this next thing. time on Cavern Cast. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the bar, everybody. Uh, yeah, that's okay. I didn't have on. the camera positioned right anyways. All right, so pull up a chair, grab a pint. I shouldn't say this is tavern cast. <laughs> whatever whatever you want to do, man. Who it's says just... this is... Who normally says this is tavern cast? Whoever opens it? Or... You're f***ing wiki. All right. Hey, I Hold on. What's the first line? Hey, by the way, 
FYI, yeah. I just figured yeah. out what it was that screwed up my recording last time. What was it? Uh, there is a... I gotta be real careful with it. There's a hot key on my mouse. I just did it. I didn't stop the recording, but I switched over to the one of the scenes. There's a... One of the buttons on my mouse must be hot keyed to something in OBS. So... So, what you're saying is... I was moving the mouse PvPing, and I bumped it with my thumb. You were spazzing with your right hand right, and, like, clicking every button on your That's mouse. That's not what happened. 